Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance and this is Ticad in the Fifi, the 105 Le FH 18B2 French Tier 5 Premium SPG and we're on the south spawn of Malinovka Encounter. And battle commences. Usually in the South Korean counter battle, if somebody can scout uh, the enemy, you can get a few rounds in as they're climbing up the hill to engage uh, uh, the heavies and the mediums that uh, go up there. Uh, but it looks like the enemy has sent a scout over, but it's not a scout, it's a medium tank, a T-28, which is not really designed for, for you know, doing any scouting. Cause it's, uh, it's a bit of the wrong animal for this job. But um, anyway, he seems to be doing a bit of scouting. He's doing proximity spotting on the tanks in uh, in the team, on Ticat's team that's going up the, uh, the hill. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to hit, but he gets a shot in and manages to kill him. Okay, there's a Churchill up on top. And he's going on to the lower rise. Line up a shot, nice tight reticule, and rounds out. Oh, no, overshot, unfortunately. That Churchill's still there. Churchill's make good targets because they're slow, uh, difficult to turn, um, very easy to hit. And he's getting a request for fire on it straight away. And he gets a good shot strike in there, 89 hit points. Okay, but he switched his aim to the Matilda because the Churchill went unsighted for a short while. Now you can see it again. Rounds out. Ooh, he just aimed a little too far back on it. That Churchill is getting struck badly. Rounds out. And he gets it this time. 86 hit points. Takes it out. Okay, the enemy has taken the uh, windmill. Okay, that's going to make it difficult. But he's going to fire a few rounds in. Uh, he overshoots the Matilda 4. But it is tracked. It's been tracked by somebody else. He's going to try and put another round in. Uh, no, it hits the front of the windmill. He's going to have to adjust his aim. So then there's a dead tank there, a wreck, and unfortunately rounds might go into the wreck rather than the Matilda. But he managed to get around onto the front of the Matilda, 55 hit points and one critical hit. He may have tracked it. No, he hasn't tracked it, but he kills it this time. 84 hit points and a kill. Okay, so that brings up to three kills that uh, he's picked up already. Okay, so looks as being rather dangerous. He's getting hit, struck pretty heavily and he's been taken out. Okay, so we've got the enemy Fifi has been spotted. The FH-18B2 on the enemy team has been spotted near that hill. That's not the normal place that Artie would go. Uh, very unusual. But he's fired around it anyway. It looks like that Artie is, is trying to spot anything that goes into the cap. Totally the wrong position for that RT to be really because he's just too close to the enemy. He's too slow. He won't be able to react to any enemy tanks that come close. He won't be able to get away rather. He would be able to react. SU-85 up on top of the hill. Fires around him but he didn't aim uh, long enough. So T-67 down on the lower uh, river, uh, lake bed. Lake bank. Shoots around in. I think that T-67 thought he was unspotted because he's just sitting there. It looks like he's been tracked now as well. And this time he gets him. 180 hit points. Okay, there's a Crusader up on top of the hill firing down at the Panzer 4H. Rounds out. No, overshoots. He needs to try to reticule to make sure and that Crusader is getting out of uh, the way before a round hits him. But he stopped at the bottom. That was a big mistake. And that round goes in and takes him out. 139 hit points. So he shoots around in and he hits the Valentine. Does uh, 
74 hit points of damage and 10 uh, gets 10 assistance on the track. But he shoots at this end at type 95 and he gets a hit in. And it's been taken out. So he's now got five kills. If he gets one more, he gets the top gun. Now it's still there's still just two tanks down on his team. Okay, what somebody on the enemy team is capping. Only one. Somebody from his team is going to have to go and take a look. There's a medium and a light tank. More preferable, it's the A20 that uh, goes and have a look. It's not the A20. Uh, if, if not the A20, then Matilda. But it's a bit slow, the Matilda. Okay, you can see the SU-85. He takes that out. 142 hit points. Now you can see the M3 Lee as well. It's got really close. The enemy is still capping. The A20 is engaging the M3 Lee, but he's got that, that rock was a bit of an obstruction. The A20 is taking out the uh, Lee. No, we can't see the Fifi. It might be the uh, the Fifi that's capping. It would be unusual if that was the case. Fires around in speculatively. Now he now does need to consider moving to the cap or to spot the cap himself. If the Matilda won't do it and the A20 can't, then he's going to have to do it. Okay, he's going to fire around him where a lot of the enemy do go. Yep, doesn't seem to do anything. There's two in the enemy cap now, so they've desperately got to get to the cap quickly. There's only 30 seconds left on the cap. And he's firing blind. Yep, yeah, he saw a uh, tracer there, for, so it is one of the RT. It's in the cap. He's firing where that tracer was seen. But it doesn't do anything. So we know there's an enemy in there. He fires around. He gets a hit. And he's reset the cap. So it's gone back up to four, uh, just over 40 seconds now to go. And we saw another tracer. And he's got another 44 hit points reduction. Uh, cap points reduction. And he's firing again. And this time he kills the Hetzer. So he's reduced the uh, cap points again. There's only one tank now in the cap. So something had to have been... And that Hetzer's moving even though it's dead. So something is pushing that Hetzer. And it's something has... Yes, it was the it was the AMX 105 AM. And unfortunately, they've lost the A20. But there's the M3 Lee. The M3 Lee was spotted. It's aimed. Rounds out. Ah, it just misses it. He's on seven kills now, so uh, he's um, close to a Radley Waters. Ah, there's the Tracer. Just behind that bush. And he kills the, uh, the enemy Fifi. That's his Radley Waters. Now, can he get the M3 Lee? He's sitting behind that wreck. He shoots around it, and he kills the Lee. 90 hit points. And there's the AMX. Now, if he can get that as well, he's on a Paul's medal. Rounds out. And he kills that as well, wins the battle, and he gets a pool's medal to boot. Wow, that was pretty exciting at the end. And we can see that Tikat did uh, get, when well, he got an ace tanker, he got a bruiser medal for scoring at least five critical hits, module damages, or crew incapacitations. And he got the pool's medal for scoring at least 10 kills of the enemy team. That's two thirds of the enemy team taken out by him. He also picked up a top gun for scoring at least six kills to the enemy. And he got a high caliber for getting the highest amount of damage, scoring at least 20% of the enemy hit points. And on top of all that, he also got a counter battery because he took out all the enemy RT. So well done indeed. And uh, if you enjoyed this replay, uh, please do give a like and do subscribe to our channel because uh, hopefully uh, it, you'll see more replays just like this. If we look at the rest of the team score, he got 1,986 hit points in total. He got 10 kills and he picked up base XP of 1,082. He fired 34 rounds, 14 with direct hits, 14 penetrations, 3 splash damage. Damage of 1,986 hit points of which 1,770 was more than 300 meters. He damaged 12 of the enemy and he killed 10 of them and... 
10 hit points of damage were done with his assistance. He also stopped 41 cat points. On a standard account, he earned 30,813 credits. After deductions for ammunition, he took away 26,461 credits. And he received XP of 1,082. And he also received a, um, a bonus for a premium vehicle, because the Fifi is a premium, of 433 experience points. So he took away 1,515 experience points in total. So please do uh, come back to our channel and watch more replays just like this. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next replay.